Hey guys, and welcome to my channel, Time is for the Window, and today we're going to be doing some Overwatch. As you can see here, the suspect's got 10 kills, 166 damage around. Going to be making his way over here towards A main, pushing down the ramp, clearing everything out, not spotting anyone out right now. Let's see if he checks the corner over to his right. Yes, he does. And he continues to proceed through spawn. I like that. Makes it look like he's not cheating, but then all of a sudden he stares at people through walls. All right, able to take down one guy in B Hall. He's going to be pushing up here, up the stairs. And going to take down Kite as well. Blatant wall hack. Staring at Rose through the wall. Comes out, pre-placed on him, and is going to take him down. One more guy making his way up the staircase here from mid. And going to take him down as well. Well, at first, I did think he was legitimate. But obviously, there was a very quick turnaround on that when he started just aiming on people straight through the wall. One guy making his way over here towards Palace. He was able to take down Kite and be peeking out. Going for another kill here, but actually gets taken down by Cap. Be pushing aggressive once again, staring at Cap through the wall, and gonna see if he can creep around here and take him down. Yeah, he's just gonna come out and shoot him in the face through the bottom of the thing first before taking him down with a headshot. Now he's looking at him through the wall here in middle, and gonna try to go for the flank on these two terrorists in mid. Now he's gonna get taken down, he's gonna peek out onto Robin, and he takes him down. That's just gonna leave one terrorist remaining. Spect is ready for this, he's on the other side of that smoke, he's trying to get in the position here, but Heron's actually gonna be the one who takes down Sonar from behind. Suspect here, pushing over here towards Hall. Staring at Rose through the wall, is gonna peek out and take him down. They still got three guys remaining over here in middle. Actually, one still back in T spawn, and one guy over there in B Hall. Suspect rotating over here towards B, since the guy over at B has been taken down. There is one guy still on catwalk, though. Suspect's gonna push aggressive here, see if he can shoot him through the wood. Trying to find an angle here on the kite, but kite is actually out of range. Suspect's gonna start spraying at him, not able to control that recoil. And still taking shots at kite, he actually gets tagged down to 15. I wonder if kite's cheating or just how much he's spamming that. Suspect's still trying to find an angle on him, jumping up and doing everything in his power get this kill onto Kite, but not quite able to do so. One guy over here at the A site, the suspect has repositioned, makes his way up towards Connector, able to take down Sonar. Kite is still in B halls, but he sees Robin pushing up, he try to take him down, is able to get another kill there, and that's just going to leave Kite versus 3 CTs. Wow, the suspect got taken down by his teammate who was like, you know what, you're cheating, screw you. Or at least I assume he was thinking that. All right, the suspect here pushing over here behind Robin. Let's see if he's able to get a kill here. Of course, he knows exactly where he is because we have confirmed he is wall hacking. Right now, it does not appear like he is using any form of aim lock. Robin's going to peek it out, and the suspect's going to take him down through the fence. Suspect making his way towards the middle and knows there's one guy in underpass here. He wants to go for the peek here. Might just shoot him through the ledge of the wall there. Takes a couple shots. Trying to get the angle. Taking some more shots. And trying to spray down Cat, but not doing any damage. He is on target, though, so I'm kind of surprised that that wall is thick enough to block all those bullets. Cat is still at underpass right now. 21 seconds remaining, and the suspect's going to jump up and takes him down. All right, the suspect here making his way towards a ramp. Sees Cat on the other side here. He him perfectly and takes down Cat. Blinking over here towards T-spawn. Two AFKs in spawn with the bomb. Actually, one AFK in spawn with the bomb. And the suspect's gonna tap him in the face. The suspect's gonna nade down over here towards Kite. Gonna pre-aim him on the wall here. And peeks out, takes down Kite, pushes out, takes down Cat. His teammates are mowing them down as well. One guy in underpass gets taken down by Dalmatian. Last guy's gonna be making his way over here towards top middle. The suspect's gonna get into position here to take him down. Throws a nade that does some damage to himself. Spots out Rose, tapping him down. Actually gets taken down. That was pretty embarrassing. Let's go through the Overwatch resolution. As for aim assistance, I'm going to go with insufficient evidence there. You could clearly see, especially on that last round, how he just could not quite get on target there. Even though he was aiming on people through walls, he just was not locking onto them. As for vision assistance, that is, evident beyond reasonable doubt, blatant, blatant wall hack. As for major description of other external assistance, didn't see any B-hop scripts or anything like that, so insufficient evidence here. And as for griefing, I'm going to go with insufficient evidence here. Let's move on to the next case. And here we are on case number two. As you can see here, the suspect's got nine kills, 157 damage around, and it is only the eighth round, which means he has some pretty solid stats here. Teammate going to be pushing up over here towards the banana. He's going to be following them up. Lily goes down to the AWP. The suspect follows that up with a nade. I'm going to throw a molly over here looking towards tree. One guy about to peek out. He does spot him out. Going to go for the reboot here. Holds the angle and takes down Vulture. I'm going to throw a flash over the top there. Pushes through the smoke. Checks over to the right. Peeks all the way down here on the right-hand side. 
Now there is a guy at bottom of mid. He's over to the left of where he's looking right now. Looks like Lamb's about to peek out. Does take the shot. He heard the shot. Goes for the repeat. Holds the angle and takes him down. Now it looks like there's just one terrorist remaining. And he's over there towards Boiler. The suspect does check towards bottom of mid. That was approximately where this guy is, probably from calls. And it looks like Woodpecker is going to get the kill with a taser. But just from the first round alone, it looks like this guy is not cheating. He's staring at his teammate Pelican here. Pelican turns around, takes a shot at him. And a, it looks like he knifes Pelican once. Following him over towards middle, knives him again, and Pelican's gonna go for the peak towards mid. Does not spy anyone out, makes his way over there into boiler, and the suspect's gonna go for a peak over here into mid. And got mid, spots him out, flicks over to his head, and takes down Lamb. Now, there is one guy over there by boiler. Looks like he's sneaking in right past his teammate. Comes out, completely catches the suspect off guard, and takes him down. All right, so he did a little bit of griefing there, but I'm probably not gonna call that unless he persists on it. I mean, that was one round. He starts doing it over and over again. I would definitely, you know, tag him for griefing. But right now, uh, it seems like he's doing too much of it. I think he was just frustrated with his teammate being AFK for so long. By the way, I'm going to peek out over here at Banana. One guy on the left-hand side, holding the angle. Did hear a shot from earlier. He's a little wider. Able to take down Nautilus. Last guy is over in T-Spawn, but doesn't look like he knows he's there. He's actually made his way back over here towards Boiler, checking towards Alt-Middle. One of his other teammates should be the guy that picks up the kill on this last terrorist, though. So he's down to 5 HP. Woodpecker gets the kill. Suspect's gonna go for another aggressive play here. Peeks out, does spot out Lily. And he was peeking out towards the angle, I believe. You know, it did look like it was kind of on the guy, peeking aggressive here. to get killed by Lily's fire. Now on the bot, it looks like he's not gonna stop his aggression. Trying to push up here. He's on the left-hand side. Looks like he knows where he is. But maybe a call out from his teammate. There was a guy posted up. So he figured that guy was going to move over to the left-hand side. The first two rounds, it did not look like he was cheating. But now it's starting to look like he may have turned on some wall hack. Or something like that. Suspect over here at Banana. Got a deagle in hand. One guy going to push across and die in the suspect's Molotov here. He just got four kills with that one molly. Teammate's gonna push aggressive, trying to take down Bolter. He goes for the repeat, and Woodpecker's gonna be the one that picks up that final kill. Suspect making his way back over here towards mid. This time he's gonna be pushing down with an AK-47. Three guys making their way up banana. It looks like he's caught off guard here by these guys. But he is griefing a little bit in a sense because he kind of just threw away his life and he tried to knife his teammate a couple rounds earlier. Now the other team has two bots, and the suspect here gonna take down Vortex. Peeking up from alt mid. Gonna go for the flank here towards Banana. One guy is on two stairs. He's gonna walk right past him. Gonna go for the knife kill on a Nautilus. He's gonna go for the knife kill on the Vulture here, I think. Yep, going up right behind him. Not quite able to get that. Final terrorist. Tries to knife him. Gets him down to 45 HP, but he ends up winning the duel. Alright, he's pushing his way down middle here. Gets absolutely destroyed by Dalmatian. You can see he's not really fighting. He's just trying to go for knife kills here. Pelican's gonna get the kill onto Dalmatian here, and the suspects on the bot now. Taking over here towards site, last guy holding with an AWP, I think you heard the scope. Taking some taps, peeks out, does do some damage, but gets taken down. Alright guys, let's go through the Overwatch resolution. As for Mage Disruption Aim Assistance, I'm gonna have to go with Insufficient Evidence. He had a pretty good shot, guys, let's be honest. He did not look like he was using any kind of external software to lock onto people's faces or their body parts for that matter. For Mage Disruption Vision Assistance, there were a couple of rounds that seemed like he had a little bit more information than he probably should have had. Maybe from callouts or something like that. It did look like him and his teammate were working pretty good together over at the B site. That being said, honestly, I just can't say there was enough evidence to say that he was using any kind of vision assistance for sure. So I'm going to go with insufficient evidence here. Mostly it looked like he was legitimate, but just a couple of things here and there that just kind of popped out at me. As for major disruption of external assistance, I'm going to have to go with insufficient evidence here as well. Didn't see any bunny hop scripts or anti-aims or anything like that. Make our way down to griefing. Oh my. Now, he did knife his teammate in the back twice one round. Now, usually when someone does griefing behavior, I'll give them a warning for the first time, and then usually I'll check it off on the second time. But in this case, I'm actually just going to give him a warning anyways, because I think that it was just that he was just overconfident since his team was absolutely destroying the other team. So I'm going to go with insufficient evidence here. Let's move on to the next case. And here we are on case number three. As you can see here, the suspect's got 23 kills, 128 damage around. This is the 16th round. Those are some amazing stats. He's AFK here in spawn, which makes me wonder what is going on here exactly. By the way, gonna peek over here towards middle. Mask is pushing out middle. Takes a couple of shots. I think he kind of pre-fired that. He didn't actually try to aim his mouse. Looks like he wanted his mouse to just aim for him. 
Terrorists have taken the B site. The suspect here is going to be trying to go for an aggressive peek here. He does have a deagle on pistol round on CT side. And you know what I say, usually only cheaters use a deagle on the CT side pistol round. I'm going over here, aiming on him through the box, able to take down Zigzag. Gonna leave Daisy over here in B hall, takes a shot. Daisy goes for the re-peek and takes out the suspect. All right, this time he's gonna be making his way over here towards middle, jiggling this little corner here, trying not to peek out too wide. He is a bit suspicious that someone on the other team might be cheating. And as you saw with Wagon, got dinked a ton of times there, crossing middle, even through that left side of the floor which means there is definitely someone on the other team cheating. Taking shots over here at Mask, obviously shooting at him right through the door here, trying to get some damage onto him. One minute has passed, and the suspect is still here in CT spawn, taking shots at Mask, who is down to 1 HP. Zigzag is about to cross here, takes some shots, gets tagged up through the door, gets absolutely annihilated. I think the suspect here is going to start rage hacking at some point this game. Right now, it looks like it's just an aim lock and a wall hack. He's got a scout here trying to go for the mid pick, using that peeker advantage to go for that mid pick too. Zigzag's gonna take down his teammate. He's watching the cross over here to be able to take down Zigzag. One more guy about to cross, able to take him down instantly. And now it is a 3v2 situation. Trying to peek middle here, gets shot through the door. He's down at 35 HP, but he did make it over to the B site. That should give him good enough positioning to win the round. Going for the mid-peak again, though, and that, of course, costs him his life. Wow, he really kind of gave up that last round. With a bomb down over at the B site, and him on the other side over there towards B, he didn't have to take any unnecessary fights. He didn't need to go for the mid-peak there. Even though he is wall-hacking and aim-locking, could have made them come to him, and he would have probably had an angular advantage on them, being able to see them without them being able to see him, even though they are wall-hacking and aim-locking as well. Able to take down Zigzag here, and gonna be making his way over here towards middle. Two guys in lower B tunnels, is he gonna peek over here towards middle, takes a shot at the door, is able to tag Cap, and go for the re-peek here, takes down Cap, still one more guy in lower B tons. Trying to take shots at him through the door, Daisy is spamming that door, and he's gonna turn around and take down Sparrow. He's gonna leave Daisy there in top mid, trying to go for some shots onto him. 1v1 situation, Daisy's got an auto sniper, and looks like he's probably walling. Suspect's gonna throw a nade over here towards mid, but Daisy kinda saw it coming and dodged it even before he saw it come out. Suspect taking shots at Daisy. Will the peeker advantage prevail here? Goes for the peek and Daisy gets the kill. Obviously, the suspect is full on aim locking and wall hacking. I've just been continuing to watch this to see if he started using any kind of other external assistance, but so far he hasn't. Again, it's just that aim lock and the wall hack. Well, this is his teammate were able to eliminate all of the terrorists, and they are going to win this final round, giving them a scoreline of 16 to 7. Overwatch resolution time. As for aim assistance, it is evident beyond reasonable doubt. Vision assistance, it is evident beyond reasonable doubt. But throughout the game, I did not see him turn on any kind of spin bot or any kind of bunny hop script. So I'm gonna have to go with insufficient evidence here. And on griefing, I'm gonna go with insufficient evidence here. He wasn't griefing his teammates and trying to lose the game. Anyways, guys, that's today's three cases. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And as always, have a great day.